What's up guys, it's your boy Darskin, and today we're going to be talking about Rosaria. Now, I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for this video, a lot of you guys have been, you know, wanting me to drop this or whatever, so for those of y'all that did, I got you covered. Now, um, I do want to say my Rosaria is a work in progress because I actually didn't farm for her like that. Um, I've been sick for the past like three days, and I've not touched Genshin on top of just some other stuff that, you know, I've been doing IRL that I haven't been grinding as much. So, that's why. So, anyway, today I'm going to give you guys the guides on their builds and everything like that. Tomorrow, I will be doing team building guides or team building videos so you guys can make your teams. And then the day after that, I will be doing showcases over Child and Rosaria. So, I got you guys covered. Now, getting into this, starting out, let's first go over her weapons. Now, I do want to start out by saying, this weapon right here is pretty much tailor-made for Rosaria. Uh, they give it to you completely free, and if you guys don't know, um, they basically had Rosaria in mind when they made this weapon. Number one, it gives physical damage, which, um, if you're using her as a main DPS, she's going to be a physical damage, damage unit. If you're using her sub-DPS, it's more of a physical damage, cryo damage type of set, but anyways, physical damage... Um, on it and then hitting an opponent with a normal or charged attack has a 60% chance which at uh, R5 it's 100% um, Chance of forming an uh, and dropping an Everfrost ice crystal above them equal to 80% of attack Which is really nice because her ascension stat is attack percent and you're gonna be obviously running attack percent on her now Moving on, opponents affected by cryo are instead dealt damage equal to 200% of attack, can only occur once every 10 seconds. And this number also goes up, this number also goes up. So, uh, with her being a cryo unit, she gets extra damage from the weapon, she gets physical damage, and since she's a cryo unit, she gets access to superconduct, which is going to give her even more physical damage. It, it, it all just works into each other, so this is a really good weapon. Now, for 5-star weapons, obvious. Every single weapon works. Primordial Jade, amazing weapon. Vortex Vanquisher, amazing weapon. Staff of Homa, amazing weapon. They all work. Now, if you want to know in what order, uh, probably going to be Primordial Jade and Staff of Homa. I'm not sure which one is better for her yet, but obviously those two. Then it'll probably be um, then it'll be Vortex Vanquisher and then uh, Skyward Spine. Now. Um, that's just for five-star weapons. Outside of five-star weapons, let's talk four-star weapons. Because I know a lot of you guys want to know about four-star weapons. Um, Deathmatch. It's going to be a really good weapon for her. Because, number one, it gives crit rate. And then, number two, it gives attack percent when there's one enemy. And then attack and defense when there's two or more. So, she is getting that attack percent, which is going to transfer over to the cryo damage. And it's going to transfer into the physical damage. So, it's really, really nice. Um, you can also use the uh, Black Cliff Polearm. Going to give her crit damage and attack percent as well, which is really nice. That's perfectly fine. A lot of people are going to say, hey, DS, you already know what I'm going to ask. What about Crescent Pike? Yes, Crescent Pike can be used for her. It is a good weapon for her if you're running her as a like main DPS or physical damage type of unit. Now, like I said, um, I'm not sure if, if Crescent Pike... I'm, I'm, Crescent Pike's probably better than the Dragon Spine Spear. I don't know. Um, obviously, everybody have to do damage by the numbers and blah, blah, blah. But if you already have a Crescent Pike built, just use it. Don't build the Dragon Spine Spear or vice versa. So, uh, you can use that. Prototype Star Glitter is a good weapon to use if you are using her as a sub DPS type of unit. So if you're not using her for physical damage, you could potentially go Prototype Star Glitter. Um, that would be perfectly fine. Now, if you are using her as a sub DPS or a supportive type of unit, you can obviously opt for Favonius Lance. Gives her energy recharge. If she crits, she will give energy to the team, which is really nice also. Um, she is not from Leeway, so Lithic spear doesn't exist to her or apply to her so there you go now that's everything on weapons going on to artifacts she i feel like this is the same recurring thing with every ice character in the game they got like nine builds if you look at all the ice characters right 
I mean, Chi Chi doesn't, but it's Chi Chi, right? Ganyu, you can go support, you can go DPS. She has like three different DPS builds. She has like two different support builds. You look at Chong Young, you could go full DPS, you could go support. He has like three different builds you could do. Diona, I think she only really has one. Kaya has like two or three. I feel like every ice character is the same way, and Rosaria is no different. You could, uh, what I have on her right now is two piece Bloodstained Chivalry, two piece, um, cryo damage and then if you want to look at the artifacts uh i'll get into that in a little bit but you can run four piece cryo right if you run four piece cryo you can have minimal crit rate and have maximum crit damage because since she's going to be applying ice she is uh with her applying ice she's going to be getting the uh 20 crit rate and then if they're frozen she gets 20 more which fact goes into like team building so that's 40 percent right there uh not to mention if you are running the uh elemental resonance of cryo you can get increased crit rate also so all of that factors into crit rate if you run the four piece on the cryo, you can opt for just a load of crit damage and you'll be okay you could obviously go four piece gladiator if you want to for like a auto attack type of build if you want to go hybrid like i've gone uh i'm going bloodstained chivalry uh blizzard or blizzard strayer and then i have a cryo damage cup and a physical damage weapon. Now, if you want to look at my ratios, it's uh, 60, 120, which um, I do want my crit damage to be at least like 140, 150. Obviously, I need to min-max my artifacts. My artifacts are not super crazy. This literally has no good subs, but it's a cryo piece with cryo, you know, main stat. That's always why I'm using it. So, it's like, obviously, if I had like better artifacts, then I would have the, you know, a lot better ratio. But, yeah, so as far as what you want to use on her... Uh, this doesn't matter. It's this doesn't matter right here attack percent. You want to go attack percent on her hourglass uh, A lot of people there's there's pretty much nothing else you would go and the reason why is because um, You don't really need to spam her ult like that and since you don't need to spam her ult she's not going to uh, need energy recharge not to mention uh, her support lies more so in her application of cryo. Like, her ult is nice, but her ult is what? 60? Yeah, 60 energy cost. And if you're work working her as a sub DPS in a team, you're probably going to be generating a decent amount of uh, energy anyway. So, like, you know, 60 is not that high. It's more, it's better for you to get the damage, right? And you can just run energy recharge sub than to run energy recharge, um, hourglass now that's not to say if you get like a god tier energy recharge piece you know something like this this is a pretty nice energy recharge piece then i mean you could potentially use it right like this right here energy recharge 28 crit damage it roll hp one time so that type of stuff this right here attack crit rate crit damage so if you get a piece like this then you can obviously use that as well but generally you're probably going to be going attack percent for the most part Obviously, you can go cryo damage here if you're sub DPS. If you are main DPS, you can opt for physical damage. It kind of depends on what your build is and what you're looking for and what you're trying to go. But obviously, physical damage or cryo damage, depending. And then you obviously want to go crit rate, crit damage on the headpiece. Depends on what you need. So there's that. Moving on to her talents. If you are running her as a physical damage unit, auto attacks. Obvious. If you're running her as a sub DPS... You want to start with her E ability now, or it depends, E or ult, depends on how you want to run her. Because, um, but anyways, you'll go, for physical damage, you'll go her autos, her E, her ult. If you're going sub DPS, you go ult, E, autos, right? Now, obviously, um, it depends on how you're using her for sub DPS, because you can do her E first or ult first, depending. Uh, as far as constellations, you do not need her constellations. Her constellations are nice. But she works perfectly fine without constellations. Between all the gameplay I've looked at over the, over, I, I haven't even been asleep yet. I've been I've been up all day, I've, over 24 hours. Between all the gameplay I've looked at from the Asia server and the Europe server and everything like that, because they get it first or whatever, I'm pretty sure. So um, between all the gameplay, looking at that and then looking at all the numbers, because there is a spreadsheet that goes over like everything uh, on her. Um. But yeah, so looking at all of that stuff, she definitely does not need her constellations 
Uh, I mean, if you guys want to fish for him, hey, it's up to you. I'm not your parent. Be my guest. She is a four star. You might get lucky. I pulled her in three multis. I know I should have streamed uh, and then, you know, summoned on stream, but like it was a four star. So it's like, I'm not going to summon a lot for her. Uh, but yeah, so I did three multis. I ended up, I pulled Fischl, Beto, and then Rosaria. So there you go. But anyways, so uh, there is uh, Rosaria. She actually pretty cool. I kind of like her. And she looked, she looked. Anyways, that's going to be for this video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys did in the comment section below. With that being said, I will see you guys next time. Peace.